Hey guys, so today I am going to be making a very, very big confession and I actually debated on whether or not I should even make this video in the first place because I don't know, I just felt like if I told you guys what I've done, you would be judgmental towards me. Even a part of me felt embarrassed. Now I posted on Instagram like a little tease. I did something to my appearance, guess what it is? And pretty much everybody guessed that it had either something to do with my eyebrows or with my hair. Now the people that guessed eyebrows, you were the closest, but nobody Nobody guessed what I actually did to my face. So I'm gonna give you guys a few little hints and then if you think you can guess, just leave the comment down below and you will find out very, very shortly if you were indeed correct. Let's do this. Most women will be able to guess. Men, you're confused. You're like, what the fuck did you just do? I got Botox in my face. I got Botox. Yep, I did. I finally jumped the gun and I got Botox. I am turning 29 this year and I feel like this is the year that I'm gonna start doing Botox. It might seem like it's too soon, but I've decided to start doing Botox as a preventative and quite coincidentally, my platelets and my blood counts have been rising and have been really, really good and I I went to the cancer center a few weeks ago and sat down with one of my nurses and I asked her, can I get Botox? And she looked at me like, yeah, sure, but this is coming kind of out of nowhere. I think she was expecting me to ask a more medical question. I think she was expecting me to ask something about my dosage or some kind of symptoms or side effects I was having. But no, I just I just wanted to know if I could put Botox in my face. And she was really cool about it. She's like, yeah, let me just double check with your doctor, but your numbers seem to be good enough that you can handle any kind of injection. So I was really stoked about that. So I made an appointment with Dr. Beth Collins in Guilford, who is the same plastic surgeon who did my tumescent liposuction about three years ago. And she is just the best. Like I will not go to anybody other than her. She's just a really honest upfront surgeon. So I went in for a consultation for the Botox and you know, it wasn't like necessary. It wasn't dire, but yeah, I was beginning to have a faint line on my forehead from scrunching my eyebrows. I was beginning to get some creasing right here. And I didn't have any crow's feet, but I am very, very squinty because I have very light colored eyes. I am so sensitive to the light. So I would constantly be squinting. And I also have a very, very dramatic heavy brow, which over time, and this has happened to women in my family, the brow does tend to droop a little bit, making my eyes look even more squinty. So she said, yeah, let's, let's do the Botox. We don't have to do too much. We only did two syringes and it was so easy. It literally took like two minutes and she put the Botox into my forehead on the side right here and a little bit here in the middle. They say that the results take anywhere between two to five days to a couple weeks, but I honestly saw results almost instantly. Like as soon as I got in the car and I was driving home, I could see that the Botox was beginning to work. I no longer could scrunch my forehead. Like if I try to raise my eyebrows too much, like look what happens. I, I, I literally can't do it. No, no scrunching. Very, very minimal. Mm, I can't really move my face, okay. And yeah, it felt a little bit weird at first because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't move my face. But also I really like the sensation because I feel like this has taken my resting bitch face to the next level. Just kidding. I just feel like more relaxed in the face. My face muscles were very, very tense before. And I think that also attributed to some tension headaches and even migraines that I was having. And now my face is just so much more relaxed. My 
my brows seem to sit up a little bit higher, exposing more of my brow bone as well as my actual eyelid, which is really, really nice. I just feel so much more awake and open. And I also noticed that, yes, I do still squint, but I'm not squinting here with my cheeks and with my crow's feet. So while the rest of my body deteriorates and becomes decrepit and old and wrinkly, my face is always just gonna look snatched and amazing. So, woo! It's been about five days since the Botox and I am so happy with the results. And I know that some people will be judgmental or say that I didn't need it or say that it's stupid or a waste of money, but I think any kind of investment in yourself that's going to make you feel better, make you feel more confident, if you think it's worth it, if it makes the difference in your day and in the way that you feel about yourself when you look in the mirror, then I don't honestly see what the big deal is. The only thing I will say, it can be pricey, but I'm not going to need it for another three to four months. So I am just going to maintain it from this point on. I think it's a very, very good thing that I posted videos and photos on my Instagram asking you guys if you noticed something different and none of you guessed. I think that if all of you guessed like, oh yeah, you've definitely had Botox then, I think it would have been not so great, but the fact that nobody noticed and the change is just so subtle and it's something that only really I notice, that's very good. And also just is a testament to Dr. Beth Collins and just how good she is. So yeah, I confess, I had Botox <laughs> and I really like it. And if you guys don't like it, I guess you can let me know in the comments. There's no way of stopping you. So <laughs> let me know what you think. What are your opinions on Botox and cosmetic surgery? And if you're in the tri-state area and you're looking to get anything done, I would would highly suggest going to Dr. Beth Collins. She is also a cancer survivor, so she is somebody who understands what I go through and she's cautious, compassionate. I feel like she understands me in a way that other plastic surgeons won't. And I've even asked her about like a certain procedure that I wanted to get done and she was just like, no, I wouldn't do that. Because there are some plastic surgeons who literally don't care and will risk your life and do things that they're not supposed to do and potentially kill you or cause life-threatening problems for you. So I like that she approaches everything with caution and just is a very reasonable person. So I will leave her information down below if you guys are in the tri-state area and are looking to get anything done. Make sure to click the thumbs up button if you like this video and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell next to it. A lot of you guys have been telling me that you're not being notified when I upload a new video. So just make sure you click that bell. That way you do get a notification every time I upload so you don't miss any of my videos. My Instagram is the Ponka Matter, so go follow me on there. And I have linked all of my social media, Patreon, everything down below. So go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.